I think something needs to be said about the past of, in Buddhism and what uh, Buddhist countries have gone through to uh, preserve the teachings. I, I did a deep dive on a channel called Bodhisattva. Uh, you can, I'll try to post a link, a link to that channel in the description. I did a deep dive on the history of Buddhism. I've done it before. I've read a lot of books on it, but it was interesting because this channel, as far as I'm concerned, uh, highlighted a lot of things that I missed and I didn't realize the the struggle of India the struggle of Sri Lanka uh, and the struggle of other countries um, to uphold Buddhism and what Buddhism actually went through and the the tyranny it went through the uh, oppression it went through uh, the the slaughter the amount of slaughter <clears throat> of monks and uh, Buddhist people from other other doctrines other religions and uh kings and uh other countries and cultures and what it went through and to have it to that here today we're actually quite lucky and i think as buddhists we need to appreciate this and understand why it's so important to you to come together uh to be u unified and to try to uphold buddhist teaching because there seems to be uh, a lot of forces in the world that would like to destroy it okay so it's really important that uh, lay people understand so I think you you should really have a look at the history uh, of Buddhism and what it went through uh, how many monks were slaughtered how many uh, lay people were slaughtered in India and Sri Lanka uh, and particularly particularly in order to uphold <clears throat> the Buddhist teachings and we have a lot uh, to thank uh, Sri Lanka, the country of Sri Lanka and, the, and, and India as well for what they went through um, in order to uh, uphold uh, the Buddhist teachings. And uh, thankfully, uh, we have to also thank the English. The English did a lot in the 18th century uh, to rejuvenate uh, Buddhism in India particularly. <clears throat> and they did a lot uh, to... Uh, uh, renovate and uh, recapture uh, a lot of ancient uh, Buddha sites uh, in the 18th century and I think we need to also pay homage uh, to those people as well thought I'd just make a point of it <clears throat>